you know what they say about what a difference a day makes. Wow, check it out back here. Flat as a pancake. Well, I was gonna talk to you guys before we got going, but the visibility looked great in the water and we still had some light and the sun was setting, so I figured I'd just get the dive done and then babble away a bit. I had my most successful dive yet with my open ROV. We saw so many critters out there today. We actually chased some jellyfish and we were visited by a cormorant. So that was just so awesome. The cormorant came down right by the robot and then it went back up. I tried to chase it around, but it, there, was a, there was actually a lot of current today. Um, and so what I think is that I need to come out here again on a day when there's less current. Um, you can see in the video that the eelgrass bed is actually laying down pretty flat. So it was kind of a combination dive just to check this site out by ROV. I actually had uh, probably over a thousand dives here working with the kids program from Pacific Marine Research, their marine science float field trip, and we hope to actually collaborate on some work here, um, which would be a really neat thing. The current was flowing reasonably good. I wasn't sure how far I'd get out, but I was able to get out to the eelgrass bed. Um, and then what I found was even though the ROV is able to handle the current really well, I got out about 300 feet of tether, well probably 275, it was almost all of my tether, and there was a huge loop that was getting caught in the current, so even with my corkies holding it up off the bottom, there was a pretty good drag from my tether, and so the ROV was having a little bit of trouble dragging it into the current, so I'd kind of bring it back in a bit, pull in some tether, and send it straight back out. But I was able to get way out, I was able to get out to the far edge of the field grass bed, and was able to see some tritium anemones and there's schools of tubes now in the eelgrass which was really neat. I got up to some of the flat areas where in the past there would have been sea stars and there were actually no sea stars at this site up in the probably 25 to 30 foot range. Um, this was my deepest dive to date with my open ROV. I did get down to almost 30 feet I think and I'll have to look on the uh, I'll, I'll look on the data on the video later. What else did we see? Um, lots of moon jellies. The moon jellies were out in force and they were flying by at times due to the current. Um, I'm really excited to come back out here again on slack water. But all in all, it was an incredibly successful dive. My right thruster isn't going backwards very well, so I'm gonna have to either reprogram it or um, do some fiddling with it. Maybe it's just a recalibration issue. I think I've got it pretty trimmed out. I'll probably want to bring the nose up just a little bit more. Um, it's, it's running pretty level, still angling down just a bit, but some of that could have been from the tether pull. Not quite sure yet. We'll have to come out here at Slack to find out. Thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to sharing our next dive with you.